and everything's like you're tied down and can't go anywhere and it's just an invasion of it's like you know uh my family right now they're on my ass because i've not finished infusions or not but every time i fucking go man somebody's following me somebody's sitting and waiting they're um calling into my doctors they're doing all kinds of shit i have stalkers and then whenever i leave here and i have you know scheduled scans that take hours that means that um you know um yeah, it means I know when and where it literally is too, and I'll be damned if I ever leave her without, you know, protection of somebody or somebody here, you know, so it makes it hard to come and go and to, you know, live outside the box. Hey, look what happened the other day. We were out for five minutes. You got somebody false calling and shit, you know? I know. Okay. Oh, and, and uh, they're important, and they're the only one holding the key to the piece of information that everyone needs to get this thing solved, right? Yeah, even <laughs> I don't have that much fucking audacity, you know what I mean? How many times... <laughs> Say, I can only hold my pieces, what we witnessed, what we went through, whatever, right? And we are not the whole puzzle. And ours may be not a damn thing by the time everything's finished and put together. All we can do is speak on at least parts of what we witnessed, seen, heard, lived beside of for all these years and years and, and after and before. It's all we can do. It doesn't mean I'm going to give everything out to the public, and it doesn't mean I'm sus because I won't give everybody every little fucking detail. You know, but it's what they've got people thinking. No, I believe even if you had, even if you did. This group. You know, and them hunting us from that moment forward and Candace and Dawn out in us and all this other shit, not realizing how far we were being hunted or anything because I wasn't really on social media much. Um, I was in there, and I was actively trying to help and uh, be part of these things to be helpful. And leaves. I mean, he is literally face-to-face -face with my son, and he's like, you want to kill me, don't you? Go ahead and hit me, do this and there, blah, 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 and threatening him and weapons and carrying him. And then tells me, and I have it on recording and video of him going, I should have thought about X, Y, Z, where it concerned or son's education before I did whatever. And I hadn't done a damn thing. This dude was just banging a bitch in a toilet in the back room of a fucking gas station. How the hell was I responsible for that while well, I had cancer and going through treatment and shit, right? I wasn't, respons I wasn't responsible for that. And he fucked around, got himself trapped with another little monster. And that shit do me. But it was a form of punishment he levied out at our son because as our son grew, it was a competition for him. You could see him start to look at him like, oh shit, especially after he did him and had his ass laid out. You know, well, uh, and so son was, was concerned for your sake too and they that and, challenges any abuser and so then you could see it growing and increasing and i was very terrified that at some point monster would kill him uh and it was very much there at that point and then here he is trying to be like oh hey kid i love you can you come to my wedding can you do that you know and then he spits out on a record phone that it, he was going to use him as a prop and it was just to get at me and my eldest is like oh, what well, absolutely God. and then here tragedy pimpville helping sponsor all this abuse and weddings and you have sleazy over going oh all kids were there and love well, wins and whatever but they have no i mean they do like you know it was just for money for monster because he knew if he could have that on here bring in money flip the screen well, willing to say oh this is going to be perfect when everything else is all, so can take it as jealousy but there's only a certain type of individual to me whether we're being abused or not that would sleep with somebody that's a cancer patient's person be nasty like that no one's man has no immune system only a certain type of person that would get a job beside of somebody controlling and narrating their lives dropping earrings and shit on purpose knowing somebody's family members are dying they're going through trauma doing all this shit to cause even more upheaval this shit to cause even more upheaval and abuse in their lives um and using drugs openly and stuff with an abuser and knowing this person is openly admitting to abusing a female Trying because they think they bought their lives and shit, and I know what they are because I've seen them in person. Same thing in the storyline he's used with every new supply. Uh, that they're the poor ones put on it, whatever. But no one at this point, this person, things and other family members for a year plus prior to summer vanishing, to try to get on social media of my children, and was skeezing the hell out of my profile because algorithms kept showing who she was, and monster would flip out every time. I'd be like, why does this bitch keep showing up? And I knew. Her. It takes a certain type of person to be doing what she you know, and to do that after summer vanishes, and it's like half the phones around here that the numbers put in are put in under summer rain. Oh. And then here she is online, um, talking about how summer will never be found, and making money on summer, somebody she's never even known, plus stealing money from my youngest through the government the whole yeah, time. That, and that needs to be addressed, because honestly, that... What? But then she, I mean, that's pretty gross. And then here she is on screen telling all of y'all, well, I would like to be her stepmother. Yeah, I, no. Ugh. That is not the example I want for my daughter. I know they're both in active drug use. I don't want that for my daughter. I don't want her around the shit. You hear them joking and you see them sharing things. And I have absolute proof that even as of a few days ago, they were, you know, I have this in proof. So it's like, you know, I don't want that around my child. I don't. I don't. And the thing is that, you know, it's like, you know, for me, I also have on recording the first days before the orders and stuff are put in of them going back and forth to vehicles and using and snorting and doing all kinds of things. I have all of these things that show a pattern of behavior, you know, and uh, also uh, she much like monster when people are sick or hurt or has a tendency to jet on them after she's used them up. And that's and that's part of uh, the type of monster monster is, too. They cannot handle sickness or anything like that. And when the cancer came, it really increased and 
the thought that I might die and these other things played a very real role in what was happening and how close supply was able to get and all these other things. But it takes me as a mother, I wouldn't want some dude taking money that belonged to another mother away from them while, you know, and yet that was just fine with her. And it has been. And uh, they filed taxes and spent that money, too, even though he has no custody, no rights to, so, you know, rights to my little is not even proven to be his. And um, he has no right to file taxes or otherwise on her. But they did. And they both spent it. Just you know that that's why Kayla Montgomery's that he has done that plus gotten all the advance whatever it was the COVID payments they have you know, went to Gatlinburg and took vacations all kinds of shit on it after the order protection things were in place because that's one of the places he ran uh and they did so almost immediately after one of the payment dates for the COVID payments but he tells them that it was you know the first days he was gone and whatever and the truck was in the parking lot it's a lie what he's offered out but they very much had no problem spending every month my child's things and he has no custody no rights to cannot file did not have her for having year did not take care of her was not the one to be feeding him everything else and therefore he had no right to ever get that at all let alone file taxes and do what was done all last year and uh probably this year and i guarantee he's probably got the christmas loans like he usually does and all kinds of things i don't know time will the person and there's not much you can do to help that you just have to yeah i mean but people are like oh it's that i'm jealous it's, it's like no that's not anything i want near me or my child though and uh, for me, it speaks volumes about their personality, who they are as an individual, and that has been speaking for about two years prior to Summer Vanishing. I'm well aware of the line of events that led to all of this circus taking place. While I had cancer, was going through everything, because I'll tell you, during the cancer treatment, monster was like, oh, well, since last June. So that places her coming into play about one of the times I was murdered over her before she swapped jobs and got one right beside of him. To con to control him and to watch and to keep eyes on when I'd take snacks or lunch by or this and the other, you know, I mean, that's a hell of a long. And then she was cheating, too, on people. You know, and even my brother and all those were fully informed and aware of who she was and what she was up to and how, how and why they couldn't quite be in you know, all these things, you know, but oh my God. background, you know, that are all there for us. And so, and so, but Monster for well over a year was given hints and tips that he had been trapped by a supply and he wanted out. And I, I just wouldn't do it. At that point, the abuse had escalated and it was, I wanted out. And I'd broken almost all the strings of the trauma bond and um, I wanted to fuck out. And I, I'd gotten to where, because of the escalation of violence and abuse, heralded in and made worse by a supply. And uh, the tricks and little drop earrings and all bullshit and everything else and his own parent monsters doing things that it, um, you know, I was I was done. I just wanted those last strings to break. And there's conversation. I was trying to honestly track down which exact pinpoint location new supply was to where I could have that because that was going to be the final anything. And he knew it. And um, then I had it. And it was done, you know. And wow. so it's not jealousy. It's just knowing who... Someone is that it's disgusting, and I can be disgusted by that type of behavior, and knowing that, you know, two peas in a pod. Little monster, little monster, gas fire, have a nice yeah. life, but leave me the hell alone, you know? Right. right.